What's up guys, Mizzofrizzo here, and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to set up directional movement. For anyone that's following along with my true first person shooter tutorial series, this is part 10, but there's also a standalone video for anyone that's been uh, sort of new to Unreal Engine 5 and you've only been exposed to Blend Space 1D, where you're blending between, say, idle, walking and running animations. This is a 2D blend space that allows you to blend with direction and speed to give your character directional movement. Now this is not the most perfect setup here. Um, I think it's fine for my needs because I don't think the player is running around looking at their feet the whole time. Um, but it'll still just open up the uh, option to use 2D blend spaces for you and then you can tweak the parameters how you like. So without further ado. Let me show you how to do this. Alrighty guys, now you are going to need some animations to insert into the blend space. What I've got here is just a set of animations that I've retargeted from the advanced locomotion system. For those of you who are not aware of it, it's a free project that's available on the Epic Games Marketplace. Um, and it's quite, uh, quite a clean project. It's very well done. So these animations are very good. Um, I've retargeted these to my metahuman, which is a bit of a tedious task. Um, it doesn't really matter where you get your animations from, Mixamo or whatever, but you are going to need some directional sort of animation. So for example, this one is run left back. If I open this up, then you'll see that it's my character jogging left and back and so on and so forth, right forward and walk forward, walking left back, left forward, so on and so forth. Um, if you want me to record a tutorial on how to retarget the ALS animations onto a metahuman, let me know in the comments section, but it is quite tedious. You have to create a retargeter from scratch and it's just, it's a little bit of a headache. Um, but so the purpose of this tutorial is just to show you how to do a, a blend space. So. Um, well, I've got my animations here and I'm just going to right click and in animation I'm going to create a blend space, find the skeleton that I'm using which is going to be the metahuman base skeleton and I'm going to call this blend space underscore directional movement. I'm going to open this up. And the very first thing we're going to want to do in here is set up our axes. So over here under horizontal axis we can call this one direction and this is going to be the, the direction that your character is moving in. So this is going to be anywhere from negative 180 to positive 180 degrees. And I'm just going to change this grid division to six. So we've got six grid divisions here and on vertical axis, we're going to call this one speed. This is the speed that your character is moving. So the minimum is going to be zero, which is stationary, and the max maximum axis value will be the maximum uh, walk speed of your character, which I think is 500 or 600. I'm just going to set this as 600 for now. You can always come back in and tweak this. Now we're going to add our animations to this graph here. Um, this graph is basically you've got zero degrees in the middle here and positive 180 and negative 180 to the extremes and then the vertical axis is your speed here so you've got stationary all the way up to 600. Um, you can find your animations here and drag them in or if you've got them organized into a folder like I have you can just undock your blend space and then I'm just going to drag them in from here find them here and drag them in. Um, so we're going to start with idle and I've got my MM idle here that was retargeted from the third person template and I'm going to drag this into the bottom here. I'm also going to drag it in and drag this down into the bottom right and bottom left hand corners. So along the bottom here where the speed is zero, you've got your idle animations. Next thing I'll grab is my walk forward animation, which I'm going to put right here. And so we'll call this, uh, because this is 600, uh, you can obviously, you can also click on these animations here and change the values here. So I can change this to 150 and make sure that the direction is exactly zero. 
Um, this has actually grabbed, this is a good chance to show you something that it does while you're editing these graphs. Um, it has auto changed one of my animations here and dragged it up here, which was my idle. It's really annoying sometimes when you set one and then you click on another one, it will it will move other animations where it thinks they should be instead of just trusting you um, and that you've put them where you want them. So I've got my walk forward here and I'm also going to grab my walk left forward and put it here. I'm going to grab my walk right forward and put it here and left back will go over here, right back will go over here and then we'll grab walk back and put it all the way out of the extremes out here. And the same thing with running. So I'll grab my run forward and put it all the way at the top in the middle. I will, now I don't have run left back and oh, I do have run left back and left forward. Oh, never mind. So I'll grab my run left forward and put it here. I'll grab my run right forward and put it here. Run left back, we'll go here. Run right back, we'll go here. And then run back all the way up here in the extremes. Now that I've got all my animations in here, I'm just going to dock this so I've got more space. By the way, if I hold control and hover my cursor over this graph, I can preview what the animations will be. Now this all looks pretty good to me. Um, he is moving his, turning his hips between these two animations. So um, the advanced locomotion system has hip rotation where you know, you'll be sort of strafing one way and then his hips will turn the other way depending on how you play. So obviously this doesn't look great. Um, I might just want to play around with these values to get this to look more like, you know, how I want it to look. So I might set this direction to 80 degrees and set this one to, let's see, it's moved it for me. Set this one to say 100. And I might want to do the same with these ones up here. Might grab this one and put it to 80 degrees. This one to 100. And do the same on this side. And again, it's moving these for me, which is really annoying. Uh, if anyone figures out how to switch this off, please let me know because now my walk left forward animation has been moved and I don't even know where it's been moved to. Is that it there? Let's run left forward. Let's run left back. My animation has been moved. Oh, it's all the way over here. Walk left forward was moved all the way over there. I don't know why it does that. Um, but yeah, super annoying. So yeah, if, if anyone does figure out how to switch that off, please let me know in the comments section. Bear with me while I set this up again again it's moved it all the way over there so strange i'm just going to leave it like that for now so you can come in here and you can swap out animations and you can tweak the angles and the speed uh, depending on your character's movement in game. So you want to test that in game and um, get this acting exactly how you want it. So for me, I just want to make sure that there's not too much clipping of the feet um, when it's blending between two animations. Like there, the feet are traveling through each other a little bit. I'm okay with that. For my purposes, that's just fine. Um, the point of this tutorial is just to introduce you to these blend space 2D so that you can use them. So I'm going to save that and close that. And the next thing I'm going to do is open up my MetaHumans blueprint, my character's blueprint, and click on the mesh and over here find the animation blueprint that I'm using and browse to that.
open up the animation blueprint and you just want to make sure in the event graph you have the direction and the ground speed uh, variables so you can find in my other tutorials uh, how to set this up but basically you've got your reference to your character and you're getting the velocity and then off velocity you can get vector length x y and that's going to be your ground speed variable and then also off your character you can get actor rotation and off actor rotation you can calculate direction plug in the velocity into your get velocity and then you've got a direction variable so these are the variables that we're going to use to um, sort of dictate where on the blend space graph you're going to blend so in my anim graph I've got my lower body animations and in my idle walk run I've got my basic uh, blend space 1D here I'm going to get rid of that and I'm going to bring in my 2D blend space plug this in plug in the ground speed and also grab direction plug that into direction and now if I hit play my character has directional movement. Sorry about the chugging here and the sensitivity. It's uh, jumping all over the place. You can see here, I can move to the left, move to the right, and on diagonals and backwards. I don't have a, um, I don't have a walk set up. I actually might just set up a really quick and hacky uh, walk just so that you can see. Uh, so I'll grab left shift and on left shift I will I'll just grab my character movement here and set max walk speed and I can duplicate that and very quickly check what my current max walk speed is it's 600 so I'm just gonna set this to 150 and then back to 600 when I release because this is what I set my animations to in the blend space, if you recall. So now if I hit play, I can hold shift to walk and there, slowed this down a little bit so you can see the blend space in action. Walking side to side and on diagonals and walking back, back on diagonals. Nice. There we are guys, blend space 2Ds. If this tutorial has been of any use or value to you whatsoever, please hit like and subscribe and I will see you on the next one.